What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a episode 2 of High School Stories. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about my first serious girlfriend and how that all ended. Oh, got on. Oops. Hmm. There's some glitch with my controller for a second. Um, so anyway, um, my first serious girlfriend, um, because of what happened, I'm going to change her name and call her Sarah. So Sarah, quote unquote, um, I had a crush on for a year or so, and she, a little bit over a year, probably about a year and a half. No, it was just over a year actually. I think now that I remember. It. Um, she was always really nice to me, so I kind of always had the impression that she kind of had a crush on me, but um, I was never sure, and I should have just gone for it in the beginning found out. Um, and she... Um, she... <laughs> she just texted me actually um, she like I said she was always really nice to me she was really nice to everybody she met um, but she was always especially like she went out of her way to be nice to me if you guys know what I mean so um, one second so then I was um, Finally, I invited her over my house one day, um, and this was in October. I remember the date, October 25th to be exact. I, I just remember that because it's my friend, it's uh, Nate, her sick twist anniversary uh, with his girlfriend, so uh, his current girlfriend now. Um, so they were... UAV on standby. So it's kind of cool that we, uh, two, like the kid who's like a brother to me started going out with a girl on this the same night. Uh, they've been going out to this day. Uh, today's July 5th, July 6th, something like that. I think it's July 5th. Um, the day before this commentary goes up. And, uh, so yeah, they've been going out for like eight months or something like that. Which is great for them. So back to my story. Um... So one day I invited her over my house, um, and we just sat there, kind of hung out for a little bit, and then I asked her out, and yeah, you know, everything went and happened. Um, yeah, so everything... And we started going out, and uh, I took her to my freshman dance. Um, we kind of we didn't do. We mainly just hung out at each other's houses or at like a mall or something like that because she always wanted to go to the mall, and we really didn't do that much together because we only went out for a month and a half. Um, but the reason I call her my first serious quote unquote girlfriend. Because um, I had, I went out with two other girls before, but um, she was the only one I actually liked. The other two I went out with because I felt bad for them. And it, there was a misunderstanding with one. I'll go into that in a later story, but that's not a high school story. It's an eighth grade story, or seventh grade story, actually. So, um, anyway, like I said, we didn't do much together. Um, we kind of just sat there uh, would just sit there talk about stuff or watch movies or something like that at someone's house um, yeah like I, like I said there's really not that much I did with her um, then about actually we went out with for two over two months a little bit over two months so 
you got you guys can probably tell with me saying that that we broke up around Christmas. Um, I don't remember the exact day, so. Um, she. So what happened was, I don't remember this exact day. No, I do actually. It's December thirteenth. I'm pretty good at remembering dates, just so you guys know. Um, she. Stop. Um, told me that there was some stuff going on and that she wouldn't be able to text me for a couple days. And I was like, okay, no big deal. So all the stuff going on was that she got a new boyfriend and she was cheating on me. Um, when she didn't, I got suspicious of it when she didn't text me back on Christmas, just a Merry Christmas text, because I knew she had her phone and it, at this point, it's it's been over a week, I knew something was up. Um, gameplay froze, I don't know why. Um, and my Xbox froze. So I'm going to pause the recording real quick, guys. Alright guys, I'm just going to resume the gameplay here. I know there's probably a little bit of time where um, left off that you guys already saw, but uh, it's whatever. Uh, it's been, it's about a half hour later, um, so I don't really remember exactly what I was talking about. I just remember the topic was that like I was talking about when, that, when we stopped talking. Um, so... Anyway, for whatever reason, we completely stopped talking, and I kind of expected that around that time because that's around the time her, her dad died. It was the one-year anniversary of her dad's death, which has got to be one of the hardest. Um, probably the hardest, because yeah. So I became suspicious of her cheating around. I guess probably about a week later, so probably about the 20th, um, what really set my eyes, like what really set my opinion, uh, and I'm glad for is Nate um, and his girlfriend were um, kind of told me, like they were like, yeah, she's definitely cheating. And I didn't want to believe it at first. Um, I kind of like, obviously I thought no way. There's just something up with there. Um, Losing beat. And then I really knew it when Christmas came around. Um, and she texted. She made the mistake of texting Nate Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. I mean. Um, so I knew something was up when she didn't text me back. Um, I believe it was Nate. It might have been somebody else. I'm not sure. Um, so then we, I texted her friend saying, if you can get Caitlin, uh, I just said a real name. That's a real name. If you can get her to text me. Um, that would be great, because I needed to talk to her, and she said, why, what's up, and I said, well, I think she's cheating, um, I think I still have the message that she sent to me in response, not the girl, not the girl I texted, the, Caitlin, um, let me just check my phone. No, I do not. She said something along the lines of cheating, no way, why would I ever do that? I can't believe you'd accuse me of that. And I said, I'm not, or I, I said, or she's like, there, there was no, there's no way I would ever do that. And then I told her, I was like, you know, you, what the heck? One second, guys, sorry. Game's glitching out again. Okay, guys, I am back, and hopefully the game does not do that again. 
Uh, I know you've already seen this part again, um, but yeah, in a couple of minutes, or seconds I should say, I'm going to go AFK for the rest of the game. I'm just going to keep talking because I have a lot more of the story to tell. Um, so, she sent me some message, yeah, here I go AFK. She uh, sent me a, some long message about how she would never cheat, and I shot back at her, well, you've done it before. Um, so we got into a huge argument, and I said, I think it's time that we break up. And when I had texted her friend that I wanted to um, talk to her, that was when I had made my mind up that she was cheating on me. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find somebody who's doing good. Um... Yeah, we'll go with this guy. Uh, thanks, K-Rock, for the last 30 seconds of your gameplay, and you died. Anyway, um, so I, at that point, I had made my mind up that I was going to break up with her. Um, and thank God my whole family was really supportive about it. Um, everybody, when I, when I told them about it, everybody just made sure I was okay. Um... I had a soccer game that day, no one made me go. Um, it, it just really, the support helped. Um, I know that's what most people would do anyway, but um, yeah, so I didn't find out for sure that she was cheating until February of this year um, when I saw that her and her boyfriend were on their three month anniversary the day before Valentine's Day. So. That's how I officially found out, and yeah. Um, so, it's a rough story. Um, I don't really care. I've basically, basically, I've moved on and forgotten about it. Well, I, I, I can't say I forgot about it, but I've moved on. I don't really, I don't hate her for it. Um, she gave me a reasoning. Uh, I might explain that in the next high school story. Um, but, yeah. So, I don't hate her for it. Um, I, even though I should. I know I should. But, I don't. So, yeah. Um, so, thanks guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. And as always, guys, this has been Cryptic Crazy. And I'll see you guys. I just, I keep saying cryptic. Jesus Christ, maybe once I change my gamer tag, I'll stop saying cryptic, but this has been sick crazy.